All right, guys, today we are here at the Jackson County Learning Center and we're gonna be getting a tour of inside. So let's head in. Well, hello, welcome Hi. to the Jackson County Learning Center. Thank you. So, this is the Jackson County Learning Center. I don't know how many of you may have known that this place exists, but we are an educational facility for those that would be in maybe high school up through adulthood. We have, we've even had people uh, in their 70s that have taken classes here. So, wow, all ages. We'll uh, start by giving you a little tour. When you first come in, you'll greet our receptionist here at the front desk and she can help you out and tell you where your class is or give you some information if you're just looking for information. One of the common uh, requests for this building, if it's not education related, is workforce related. And so we have the Work One uh, Southeast office here in the building, which is actually inside this entryway. So I'll just take you back here and let you look at this first. And what does Work One do? Work One is here to assist people who need um, assistance finding jobs, uh, getting training to improve their education level so they can get a better job, all kinds of resources related to that. A lot of people think that they're primarily the unemployment office, but these um, off-site satellite offices like ours mm -hmm. do not deal with the unemployment. That's all done online. And uh, so their primary purpose is to, is to help you find training and a uh, new job. Okay, okay, that's great. So then we'll just kind of take a, sh a quick tour of the facility itself. Um, this main area that you're in, we call that the like lounge or computer cafe. We have some computers out here where students and people can come in, check their email, do homework, uh, maybe print off some resumes or things like that, depending on what they're trying to get accomplished that day. Mm -hmm. Then this whole wall here is called our information wall. You can find different resources related to the various colleges, things like financial aid information, program information. Uh, this section is primarily for IUPUC, which is one of our partners. We've got various other schools here in the center, such as Vincennes University. They've held some classes here. We've got um, Purdue College of Technology, which is now Polytechnic, uh, some of their information. We've got Ivy Tech down at this end, Trine, Indiana Wesleyan. So lots of various school information, depending on what program you're looking for. Yeah. And then we also keep various information that's related to community um, resources. That's great. Such as your, um, 211 resource and disability resources from VR, the pre-K. Oh, that's good. Uh, information as well. So lots, lots of different things that you can gather. Then as we come down here, this is our first, first room on the tour and this is our advanced manufacturing lab. It is big. Yeah. So this, these machines here on this side are more real world uh, machinery that's focused on like CNC operating. Uh, we've got a lathe, machine lathe and a mich um, mill <laughs> down at that end. And then there's a drill press. This is of course a metal lathe. There's just various machinery. Yeah, just this... kind of teaching you how to use them. Yes. And then this side of the room has Amatrol equipment, which is more um, in classroom testing or you know learning to use that type of equipment. So we have little robotics and pneumatics and uh, yeah. ACDC electronics, just various tools on this side. So um, this room is often used by Ivy Tech for some of their intro to machining classes. Um, they had blueprint reading, motor controls, like I said, CNC operators, different things like that. And then um, some of the other factories in town can also reserve space and do training for their employees that's more specific to their needs. So. That's great. Then 
then here in this end of the hallway, we've got some books we try to keep on hand for people to uh, use for doing their resume, uh, practicing interviewing skills, practicing for the ACT, GED test, any of those kind of things. We also try to keep some books for different classes like accounting or psychology, just things that they might need to reference. So this is here for people to use while they're here. Then this room is our science lab, and we can't go in there today because Lynette is here doing some training. Uh, every couple of weeks they do new hire training, so they're using the, the facility today. Um, but the science lab would be used a lot by the colleges for things like biology, earth science, um, oh, anatomy and physiology, you know, any, any of those kind of medical or science related classes. Nice. Then as we would come down to this end of the building, see these two rooms are utilized by Seymour High School for their alternative education. They have classes during the day and also in the evening. And what are those classes for? And so uh, the alternative education is a self-paced type class where they can learn at their own pace and make up credits. So it just, students are here for various reasons. Some may have moved and lost credits. Some may have just for some reason gotten sick and need to make up credits. It's just various reasons that they may be here. But so there's some that even work during part of the day and then take classes. And I think that's one of the reasons we have uh, what they call evening grad point. So okay. some people can come in then as well. So, and then as we run, and of course this is a big, kind of like a big circle. We're back to the, the main lounge. of a computer lab and a lecture room because you can just you know, move the computer out of the way and have a class there. So lots of our college classes will use that. This one that's open at the end of the hall is similar to that one. It's just larger. So again, nice big computer lab. Currently we've been holding um, adult classes through McDowell in here such as their Microsoft Office Specialist class. Oh, that's so nice. People can train to get a certification in using Microsoft products. So that's in here. Um, this room and the next one are just basic. This is just a basic classroom. Mm -hmm. And McDowell also offers English language learner classes. And can anyone sign up for these classes? Yes, anybody can sign up. Um, McDowell's classes are free because they utilize state funding mm -hmm. to offer those classes. Um, we actually have, I think, five different time slots for English language learners. That's great. So ELL or what used to be called ESL, that's all English language learner for, for classes. That's really nice and it works with people's schedules. Yes, it does. And of course, as you see, we've, if, if you've noticed as we went down the hallway, we've got lots of artwork that different students and people that work in the facility have you know, put on the walls to mm -hmm. let people see beautiful art. This classroom is primarily used by the HSE for McDowell. So what used to be called GED is HSE for Indiana. Okay. And so we have students in here um, graduating all the time. If you want to take a quick look, this is always fun. As students graduate each, you know, throughout the semester, yeah. they get their little cap on the board that they have completed. So everybody cheers. So that's, that's awesome. a wonderful thing. So let me move on. And then this, this lab is for Ivy Tech. It's, um, they haven't been in session for a while, so they're working on their computers. So I don't know, but it is a, a nice computer lab for Ivy Tech students. That's great. Um, it actually connects back to their servers. So some of their 
English and math and some of those classes would utilize that if they needed specific software. So That's really nice. So then as we come around this way, everything on this side of the wall is actually part of that work one suite that we looked at when we first entered the building. And then in here, we have what we call our community room. This is a large room that we often rent out for businesses and groups to hold big meetings or trainings. I know JC Food has used it, the United Way has used it, um, just lots of different, different groups to yeah. kind of have larger meetings. And then, of course, it has a kitchenette and refrigerator, you know, access. So that's important that, for that meetings. Works <laughs> if they have a luncheon or something like that. So that is the main points, I think, about the Learning Center. Uh, we also have, let's see, our main partners are IUPUC, Ivy Tech, McDowell, the Seymour High School or Seymour School Corporation and um, Work One, Reed Jackson County, and Sylvan, to, uh, Sylvan Learning out of Columbus. And Sylvan is here in the evenings on Tuesdays and Thursdays for like tutoring of all ages. I think they've That's also great. offered prep classes for like taking the SAT and ACT. So. Anytime somebody's interested in a class, they're free to come out or call us and let us know what they're after. We may already have something to, to, to offer them in that line. And if not, it, we can put it on our list to work with our partners to see if we can get that. So. Well, that's great. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you. Bye. Bye.